Hey guys, Accurate Bob here, showing you where the dungeon, the Brood Hive, is. And in this video, that's the location of it there. And in the video, I will be showing you where all eight switches are, the yellow key, and hopefully give you enough hints in the dungeon to get you on the nine minute time limit. So this is the door, you open it up, 9 minutes starts now. Kill all these little buggers, don't really matter about these, they might kill you if you leave them to fly at you, but the first one is hidden up behind the first pillar in the world room. That's the first switch done. Go into the next room, kill all the little buggers, get the combo high enough so that you can to kill the first K9. Do the same again. Use the right ammo, would be much better. Add my bonus there because I could insta kill it. And a few more waves. Not aim at that. It says I've got two switches at the minute. That's a lie, I've only got one. I will show you where the second one is, for some reason it glitched, but it's literally proof next door anyway, so. Once you've got your combo high enough, killed all the guys, use any instant extracts as you can. Time is a factor after all. Me being a significant higher level helps. While I was making this video, I can show you everything a lot faster. But when the door opens, just turn around to the right, and down the wall there is the second switch. And as I said, the third one glitched for me. But that is it right there, you can already see it. So if you just shoot, make sure you get that one as well. That's why I shot it again. So that's switch number three. And four is directly ahead, up high. So I'll grab that one. Nine buggers. That does not in this hallway. A couple of chests, but you can open them in a future point. Kill these buggers. These will kill you quite easily because they explode, so stay away from them. I'm sure you know, but yeah, for those that do that. Alright, so in this next room, and that's where our map, so we've got half of them hit at this point. In the next room, if you look up and to the left after you've killed these buggers, will be switch number five. Right there. Jump up top of there to get to a chest as well. It's another time when combos might come in handy if you can get the K9 to spawn fast enough. But you need to jump down. Deal with them easy enough. One big charge bolt. Separate them. Make them easier and weaker. Get your combo. Instant extractions. Boom. Again higher level, it makes it so much easier. But you do need to clear the way to which you need to get that. That's what your primary is down at the bottom of this bin. Because you're going to need two of them. Well, all three technically, but two mostly. Collect my gubbins. Get a dog to kill that, help me faster. And I miss that really annoying. Next again. There we go. Jump up. Now there's a switch to the right. Hit that one before leaving this room. And you'll see a door in the corner opened up. Now if this second platform, you want it to wait a bit until it moves further to the left, because I barely made this jump. But if you drift, jump, jump, drift, you can make it easy. Inside the room to the right, the sixth switch. Lost count, but that yellow orb is the key that you need in. Just, just kill the bugger that's carrying it, jump across, grab it, jump back. On the other side of this room is another chest. I'll, I'll set it out. Now we're ready to leave this room with the yellow key in six minutes, and at the minute I've got just shy of five minutes. So there's loads of time yet. Hit this switch to open the door on the opposite end. You can make it easy enough if you drift. Dumb jump drift, same this one. I barely made it. If you see it flashing like that, it's about to re regenerate its shield. 
But on the right there is the seventh switch. Now, I did this to show you how much it hurts. I'm a high level and it still nearly killed me. So you don't want to just run through there. Shoot him and kill him. Drop down next room on left. Head him behind his rocks. This is the last switch. Hopefully I've got a couple of minutes left to defeat the boss snake thing. It's really not difficult. Best way to go about it is the little buggers. Get your combo up. Do a charge shot. And boom. It's half of it gone. Again, high level, so I don't expect it to be as easy. But you, as I'm showing, you can always come back and do them whenever you want. And then I've got just over just short of four minutes, so hopefully this is enough info to give you this result. Now, as you can see, once you've already done it, you get supplies instead of another chest. So essentially, you've got all the money and all the fusion points that you'd need for your car bots. So yeah, um, hopefully it's been useful. I'll get the others up as soon as I've figured out each dungeon, because I'm only going to do one at a time. It took me a few hours to find these switches. Annoying, but if it makes it easier for you guys, it's all been worth it. I love this coming up, I want to forget about this box and boost into it, it's like bang, bang a red. It's funny. I like it. Anyways, this has been a pure bob in the brood hive. See you later, peeps.